Beautiful day here in Marlborough. First day of the school holidays. Copy that algorithm. Kia ora team, I'm Benny, and I'm here in the garden for the cold open of MML 73. And we're going to continue what has become a Monday morning live tradition, and that is to sample for the first time a product that I got from the Marlborough Farmers Market. And today, it's a special one. Today, it's the turn of Golden Mile Produce Strawberries. These are the first strawberries of the new season. And it's particularly satisfying for me because I helped to grow these bad boys. I helped to water blast and clean the gullies that they grow in. I helped to stack the gullies and space the gullies. I helped to plant the strawberry plants. I helped to thin them out. I helped to groom them along the way. So that's why it's particularly satisfying for me today to enjoy the first strawberry of the season thanks to Golden Mile Produce. Mmm. So good. So sweet. And so satisfying. I'll tell you what else is satisfying. It's very satisfying for me to say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the garden and welcome to Monday Morning Live. Shout out to Renee, thanks for joining. We'll do live Monday morning shout outs in real time to anyone who joins us live. And don't forget, if you don't see us live, you can watch it again and again later and later on today on YouTube. When this video gets posted, it will be my 299th YouTube video. Something special. And something special coming for 300. As well as Monday morning shout outs, we'll do live gardening. We've got two, two live gardening segments. Actually, one live gardening segment and, or two, look, and, and two updates. So does that work as four? Four, I'm not sure. We'll take a look back at the week that was. We'll take a look at the week ahead. All those things and many more, and an update on the Renaissance. Coming up right here, right now, on Monday Morning Live. Well, let's kick off with some live gardening updates. I want to show you guys, first of all, an update on what we did last week on the show. Last week we sowed seeds of basil. Now, we're going to be growing tomatoes this year, as we always do. These are tomato seedlings that I got from the She Shed shop. My good friend, Catherine, at the She Shed. We're going to do... Um, a little bit of work with these shortly, we're going to trim off some of the laterals, but I want to show you, yesterday, uh, sorry, last week we sowed some basil seeds, and you can just see there, can you see, they're just beginning to germinate. These are going to grow as really good companions for our tomatoes. Speaking of tomatoes, let's do a little bit of um, maintenance with our tomatoes. Now, I've shown you this before, but I'll show you again. This is the main stem, what we call the lead runner. These are the side leaves. And this little thing here, see that little thing in the middle there coming up from between the main shoot and the side leaf? That's a, that's a runner. We want to trim off these runners. Uh, sometimes called a lateral. And what it'll do is it'll just grow and it'll try and form more, more runners like this. We want just one lead runner. So we're trimming off these laterals. Little laterals. There's another one. Trim off the laterals. Mm, trim it off, just like that. So there we go, a little bit of maintenance on the tomatoes. We've got basil growing in there with the tomatoes as a companion, as well as growing in our jiffy pots. I want to give you another update on what we did last week on the show. We cloned hebes. We used the cloning gel, we took a little cutting, and we put them into uh, these little pots. Now, here's a, a little tip, tip of the week. You know when they've started to form roots, when you give them just a very gentle tug, and you feel a little bit of resistance. Mm, gentle tug. A little bit of resistance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one one at a time. I haven't done this yet, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just going to give it a very gentle tug. Ah, and see, it, see, it sort of comes up a little bit. So it means there's no roots on that one just yet. I'm going to try this one. We're just going to give it a gentle tug. Oh, and see, it doesn't come up. I can feel resistance there. So that means the roots are starting to form, which is a great sign that our um, our clones are starting to take great things. Now, let's do more live gardening. Speaking of the She Shed Shop, I've got these, um, this is a, a mixed lettuce, we call this cut and come again. So I'll give you a quick look. These are the ones that I planted a few weeks back. Look how well they're growing. This is growing with our elephant garlic and what we do every now and then is we just trim a little bit off when we want a sandwich or whatever and we just cut it off and let it come again. So they're working so well. There's a cockroach underneath there. Good thing that didn't scare me. Now they're growing so well, I'm going to grow some more. And I'm going to do it 
and another one of our Old Faithful 10 litre pots with a high quality potting mix. We're going to use the Benny's 6100 series seeding extractor. I'm just going to make a couple of little holes in the top. This is seedling, uh, six, um, six seedlings in this butter. Uh, we're going to use four of them. One, two, three, four. And we're going to use the Benny's seedling extractor. I'm just going to pop it in there. And we're just going to gently bring that out. Here we go now, take a look at the roots, mm, look at the roots, they're pretty well uh, formed, pretty healthy looking. They're certainly not um, root bound yet, so we don't need to separate them out. What we're going to do is we're just going to use one of these little holes that we created, pop that little seedling in there, firm it down. Now this, um, I pre-moistened this potting mix, be, be very careful when you're working with dry potting mix, usually you'd wear a mask because um, the little spores of Legionnaire's disease can infect your lungs. So always moist potty mix or a face mask if you, if you have to. Uh, now there's one more thing, now that we've got that in there, we're going to put another three in there, but there's something that we're supposed to do. That's right, give it some water, because, say it with me, you can never underestimate the value of water. So we're going to do that, give that little seedling a bit of water. Mm, a little bit of water. And that's good to go. Live gardening done here on Monday morning. Let's carry on with an update on the Renaissance. This is my personal sobriety journey. Just water, by the way. Never underestimate the value of water. So we'll give an update on the Renaissance. Now, today is day 31 of being alcohol free. When I first told my father that I was planning on going alcohol free, he said to me, he said to me he was proud of me, and he said that after a while you don't miss it. It's funny because somebody asked me just the other day, do I miss it? I tell you what I don't miss. I don't miss having to go to a different bottle store every day. In fact, <laughs> there's bottle stores out there that are probably going out of business. <laughs> They're like, why are our sales down so much? I don't miss that. I don't miss looking in the cupboard every morning to see how many beers I had the night before and being angry with myself and disappointed. I don't miss the hangovers. I don't miss the feeling like I was failing as a father. You know, there's so many special moments and special memories that we have with the kids and for so long I just felt like I wasn't present. I wasn't in the moment. I felt like I was missing out on so much. You know, the kids grow so fast, and for so long, I felt like I was missing it. But it turns out, Daddy-O, you were right all along. Because these days, I don't miss a thing. All thanks to the Renaissance, let's take a look back at the week that was. You can probably see here on the camera, these are the flowers that I got for my wife Renee. Last week we celebrated our 14th wedding anniversary. We've been to, together for, we were together for 10 years before we got married, so we've been together for 24 years, which is pretty special. These are the flowers that I surprised her with on our anniversary morning. What else happened last week? Corbin and I went to the movies. We went to see um, Wild Robot. Very cool, wonderful experience. Sitting there with my son, watching a movie, given my history in the cinema industry. Very special moment. Great times at the Marlborough Farmers Market. My good friend Stephen from Golden Mile had strawberries for the first time, and he will pretty much every week now going forwards at the Marlborough Farmers Market every Sunday morning from 9 until 12. Great time at the farm, uh, great time at the market, great time with the kids. Let's take a look at the week ahead, the school holidays. Now, when I was a kid, I used to look forward to the school holidays. Not only was it a break from school, but it was a break from the bullying. I was mercilessly bullied at school because of my appearance. So the holidays were a break from that. I said to someone the other day, the school holidays, man, they come around so fast. The other thing is that they go by so fast as well. So the only advice I can give is to just enjoy the moments. Be present, be there, and enjoy the moments while they last. Because before you know it, they're gone. Right, we've looked at the week that was, we've looked at the week ahead, we've done live gardening. Including a very exciting update on our clones. A little bit of maintenance with our cherry tomatoes. Oh, I'll just show you quickly. These are the lupins that we sowed a couple of weeks back. Actually, it was probably more than that. Let's have a look at the label. 21st of the 7th. Okay, so, so it was a wee while ago. They're starting to flower. And what we'll do with these is we're going to let them go to seed. 
We're going to collect the seeds and we're going to plant them as companions for our lettuce, which we planted today. Now the golden rule, well the general rule, is that uh, these lupins are nitrogen fixers. Lettuce is a heavy nitrogen feeder, so as the, um, as the, nit as the lupins fix the nitrogen into the potty mix, it'll add additional food for the lettuce. Well that's the hypothesis, let's see if we can make it a theory. That's probably about all the time we've got left for today as we get close to 12 minutes. I want to thank you all for the support that you've shown me on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram and here on Facebook. As I say, we're coming up to 300 YouTube videos, a very special achievement for me. Somebody once said, actually I got some good advice from Mr. Beast. He told me and the millions of other people watching his video, he told me, if you want to get good at making YouTube videos, go and make 100 YouTube videos. Well, now I'm on the verge of making 300. And thank you all for your support. You can see me on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Benny, anytime you like. You can see me on TikTok and Instagram by searching I, Benny Ward, the letter I, and then Benny Ward. You can see me every Sunday morning at the Marlborough Farmers Market. You can see me every Monday morning here on Monday Morning Live. And I... We'll see you next time in the garden. And we're clear. Good. Good. No shenanigans this week. Greetings, plebs and cretins. I am Redford Country, and it is now time for me to do what must be done. For the love of folly.